Hey guys, welcome back to IPFS 101. Today we are going to be zooming in on a very important component of IPFS, pinning services. So what is an IPFS pinning service and why should you care? Let's dive in. Uploading files to platforms like Google Drive is a piece of cake, right? Well, IPFS works differently, and that's where IPFS pinning services come into play, especially if you are a Web3 builder focused on security, cost efficiency, and reliability. Remember, IPFS stands for Interplanetary File System. Unlike the centralized model of HTTP, IPFS operates on a decentralized and distributed network. Think of it as a vast network of local post offices versus one central post office. This network setup ensures faster, more efficient, and resilient file sharing. So now let's get into the meat of the matter, IPFS pinning services. Imagine having to run your own post office. That sounds like a lot, right? Similarly, you'd have to host your own IPFS nodes, and that requires a lot of power and resources. That's where IPFS pinning services come in. They act as a perfect middleman, providing a seamless user interface to easily upload files to IPFS, just as easy as you would to Google Drive. Now let's walk through how simple it is to use with Pinata. After signing up, you hit upload and select your file or folder. Pinata takes care of the rest, ensuring your files are always accessible anytime, anywhere. You can also integrate Pinata's API for more control over your files. Another cool aspect of Pinata and IPFS is handling metadata. Uploading metadata is as easy as uploading any file. You just need the CID, the unique identifier IPFS uses to locate content. So there you have it. IPFS pinning services simplify your journey into the decentralized web by creating a seamless, user-friendly way to get files onto IPFS, and Pinata has got you covered on that front. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I would love for you to join in on our community. In the meantime, happy pinning. Bye guys.